Yo, hi everyone. GameSager here. Twitch.tv slash GameSager. Twitter.com slash GameSager. In the links. Anyway, I get asked all the time about my settings for my controller. So, I use an Xbox One Elite controller. I use this on PS4 as well. Um, I have like an attachment Cronus Max thing for PS4. Um, so, I use the short default stick on the left side. My camera is mirrored. So, left side of my controller is... The shorter analog stick, the right stick is the longer one. I use both of the longer paddles, these ones, these long paddles, I put them in the top slot of my controller, so the, these two, here. So the right one, the right paddle, I have as slide, my left paddle I have as tactical, so my left paddle is A, my right paddle is B. I play on bumper jumper, I usually play on manual sprint. But right now my thumb kind of hurts. I don't know why every time I push sprint. So I've been playing on auto for a few days. So I'm on bumper jumper. Default sensitivity. Same for ADS and hip fire. My response curve I have steady. This is one of the biggest things I think helps out a lot. Um, a lot of people like classic. But steady is just. It just works really well if you read over there. From control and fast aim. What this one does I believe. Is in the center of your, or your analog. It's a little slower. And on the edges it's faster. So you have a little more control in the center of your analog stick. I have my dead zone here off. Dead zones basically is if you have drift on your controller. It makes it so the very center of your analog doesn't respond at all. And I like to have that off. So this one you can't turn off. You just put it to small. My vibration is off. So now that's all my settings in game. Also, I hold on. I guess I can show you this. I'm on 94 field of view right now. Color blind, Tritanopia, because it makes it so everyone's pink. I just thought it looked cool. Don't really need it. But another thing, I have depth of field off. Most people usually turn this off. Um, so let me show you my elite controller settings. These are what are a little different. Should have thought about this a little better before I started making the video. <laughs> I'm going to get my better, I, I just got a new microphone and a new headset and stuff. Um, I haven't got my microphone stand yet, so my mic's a little further than it should be. But, so, here is my controller. So, I have the left stick on smooth and the right stick on smooth. The reason why is, you see the blue? That's where it's actually going. Um, the white is where it would go if it's default. So, all of my corners, on every controller I've ever owned, all of the corners... The white doesn't go out as far as it does for up, down, left, right. So up, all the way out, left. You see how it's all all the way out. But over here, in the corners, it doesn't go all the way out. So I set my sticks to smooth with radio calculation at negative 2. This is from my left stick. You might need to test it on your own to make sure it's the same. Um, my right stick also smooth. This one is negative 3. I don't know why it had to be a little different, but that's why... That's what I do for both of these to make it so it's a f pretty much the same motion no matter which direction I'm pointing. I have my trigger. I put my right trigger at 0 and 20. This makes it so it's a full press. A lot shallower or whatever. I don't know. Like You don't have to push it nearly as far down to get a full press, which shoots. The reason I have it at 0 and 20 and not a little further than that to where it's almost instant is because if it's too low, then when you're using a semi-automatic gun the sometimes the controller won't register that you let go of the trigger and your gun will jam it won't shoot because it thinks you're trying to full auto a semi-auto so zero and 20 for my triggers smooth like that a and b on my left i don't use the bottom two paddles i use both long paddles top left and right and that's pretty much it so people kept asking me for this video hope you guys enjoyed